this is Paris Nasser, his age is 80 years old, and he had uh, autoimmune deficiency called DOC8, uh, 2011, by NIH, National Institute of Health. They did the extensive uh, genetic testing on him, and they said that he had uh, DOC8 uh, gene mutation. Okay, um, his skin will be extremely rough, like a sandpaper rough and um, he would be prone to a lot of infections, uh, viral infections, bacterial infections, and pneumonias in, his, in the chest, uh, shortness of the breath. Um, he would be quick to infections. Um, he would have, he, you have like herpes attacks. And too. herpes attacks. He had a herpes attack in his left arm. He almost lost that. So his, his body is very weak, uh, his immune system is extremely weak. Um, he cannot fight infections, bacteria, like a normal person. Uh, because his immunologist suggested that we should do a bone marrow transplant, and we are not with that at all. And his, we have a match in the family, his sister is a perfect match, is a 100% match. But we do not like it because it's, uh, there is chemo involved and the percentage rate of uh, success uh, would be like 50-50 chance. And we were more interested in giving him a quality of life instead than prolonged life. Um, so we kept looking till we found uh, a different type of stem cells. It does not involve any chemo into it. So that's how we ended up here. With and, and the, chemo, the chemo was scaring us because it would suppress his immune system even further, and the risk of losing him during the process was just too high to, to proceed with. Especially that we lost a daughter at the same age, same issues, mm -hmm. and we, we felt like the chemo suppression of the immune system will, will mm -hmm. end up taking his life. So we start looking for an alternative. Well, he, he tells me that, Mom, I have more energy now. <laughs> yeah, one of the things that probably at the first, okay. the second, he got sick, but we feel like as time progresses, we were showing uh, Dr. Dan this morning, is that there are certain spots on his face, like the nose and the ear, that's been there for two, three years, literally, and we, it just doesn't go away, it always gets infected, no matter and what we do. And we will just on apply Bactrim antibiotics on him and it's still not healing fast enough. And now, and now we, start, we start seeing that there is, it's in the process of healing, so if, mm -hmm. I mean, this is for us, that's the indication. It's, it's good, better than before. His lymph nodes in the back, they used to be like a baseball size, and now they're down. They're much um, less obvious, I guess, on his... So that's what we see on the outside. Yeah. We're leaving the inside so we're, for the we're profession. We're very much interested on the inside. Excited on the inside. I'm gonna I'm gonna answer my side because I'm not I wasn't involved as my wife and she will continue. But our initial communication with Scott and Dr. Anand mm -hmm. and Sophia, which I've kind of interfaced with, has been very professional very straightforward, very positive. Um, parents like us who lost a child for a disease like this, it was, it was uh, a sense of hope. So, you know, this is, we leave the rest to God, but at least we started this path with that hope in mind. So this is what, what I saw from my side. Well, for here, like Dr. Daniel and Carla, they made us feel like we're home. We did not feel like they're strangers or just doctors. We uh, he put some time out of his precious time to to um, entertain Paris and make him feel comfortable. He is sometimes he gets phobia from needles for his age. I mean, even adults sometimes they are like needles. So he is dubbed his pain. So we are very very appreciative to his efforts and his staff efforts. And the biggest positive thing for this too is because we live 
almost two days driving distance. Uh, flying was a little expensive and a little inconvenient because my wife needed to carry a lot of stuff to the supplements, the, uh, the creams, the treatments. So she needs to carry that stuff which she cannot carry on, on a plane. So the fact that she drives two days each way to come here has been, has been a pleasant experience because she looks forward to it. It's not like, oh, we have to go drive again. So it's been, it's been a yeah, pleasure. Yeah, everyone here is very, very friendly. We're very happy with all the services, the place is very clean, they always keep it a spec clean actually. Um, all is good, we like it here a lot. So I'm, and now I'm uh, encouraging my husband to come for his stem cells, for his diabetes, so we can keep coming. <laughs> uh, just two days ago, we oh, finished... his first. Oh, his first. It's been... Uh, 12 months. Is it March? Six. Almost five months. Five. No, less than that. Four months. It's been four months. Could you answer that, Paris? Can you tell us about your energy level? He's, he's very. I feel like running and playing with my friends. And you know. Yeah. Uh -huh. Play. Yeah. yeah, he has more energy now than before. His skin uh, is looking much better, which helps him to actually uh, maneuver more and be with his friends. And play in the sun, too, where he could not actually be in the sun before. Yeah, that because was, that was irritate, a good point. Yeah, it would have irritated his skin. Even even food, right? We we have more guts to give him yeah. different kind of food than we're we more did. more eager now to give him more foods um, because of his allergies, food allergies, because of his dog ate. It's a, a very very pleasant experience. Uh, we like it here a lot, except the weather is very hot. <laughs> <laughs> we're used to it. But it's, uh, but it's good, we, we like it. We got very close to the staff here and uh, we will go back home with more friends now for Mexico. <laughs> yes, definitely for my husband, he's, he's diabetic, uh, type two. So I guess that will help him to stay healthy longer time. We would, we would definitely, definitely uh, encourage him to take a look and uh, and, uh, yeah, have an open mind uh, and do research, ask questions. Uh, the staff is very willing to answer any questions you have. Um, definitely, this is the end thing, the science for our time. And, and being in the United States, most of, you know, all our lives is the United States is rich with the medical treatment, but unfortunately, the United States is becoming more more business oriented than result oriented and we feel we feel you know going outside the United States border to seek uh, professional help for us it's been it's been a very very good uh, experience. pleasant experience and we definitely encourage others to, to do that